Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jose Rugeles. I'm from Colombia, uh, from the university, military university in Nueva Granada. Uh, we are beginners with the Guinea radio and software film radio, but we want to share some experience about our the, uh, implementation of this technology in our labs and the experience uh, to develop the telecommunications program in university. In Resume, the military university uh, is a university with 23,000 uh, students. 90% uh, of these uh, students are civilians. Uh, the university born with the defense uh, ministry, but now is part of uh, the education uh, ministry, so uh, we are most uh, in the part of the civilian than the military uh, part. Uh, we have uh, faculties, engineer, law, economics, education. Uh, the, the education is oriented especially to the undergraduate students uh, with 67% uh, of students. Uh, the other uh, person in postgraduates and uh, distant learning students. Uh, we developed some projects with the military forces, uh, especially with the uh, engineer faculty. Uh, my program is uh, focusing uh, toward the telecommunications engineer. We have uh, especially three components, uh, communications, man management, and security. Specific uh, is cybersecurity. Uh, this focus is uh, oriented in the develop of nine semesters uh, with uh, blocks for uh, courses oriented to computing, specifically to uh, Python uh, programming, uh, mathematics, physics, and next uh, uh, with uh, blocks of uh, some courses specialized in communications, uh, cybersecurity, and in internet working, and management. So the, this, uh, our students uh, receive a telecommunication engineer degree uh, that follows the, uh, uh, the normative in the country, uh, and specifically uh, we follow the uh, Engineer Accreditation Commission uh, uh, in America recently, we have uh, uh, recognized the telecommunications like a uh, uh, career specifically different from computer science or electrical engineer. Uh, in our strategy to develop a program, we uh, decide a few years ago to use Kini Radio uh, uh, in the development of uh, the infrastructure of laboratories. We have uh, three focus, uh, the, the labs, uh, indoor labs with uh, traditionally uh, place for students in communications, networks, electronics, and simulation. But uh, we want to develop, or we decide to develop some laboratories uh, with outdoor focus. So. Uh, we develop a mobile unit and uh, integrate user P nodes in all the campus to uh, develop some experience uh, more uh, uh, near for the real uh, experience uh, in measurements and experiments for our students. And uh, the last laboratory that we develop were, uh, is the wireless lab uh, that use uh, Gini Radio 2. Uh, in the basic course, we use the Gini Radio to introduce basic learning signal processing concepts like Fourier uh, filtering. It's very useful uh, and it's possible to use this tool uh, and motivate the students uh, using chips uh, hardware like RTLs. And next, the, in, in a strategy to develop uh, end of the course projects, the students use the user piece to develop the systems. Here we have uh, experience uh, using 
uh, the USRP to develop an uh, amplitude modulation system. Uh, in the digital communications uh, course, it's a different, uh, is the next uh, level. Uh, we have the similar focus. We try to develop the uh, realistic, uh, realistic uh, uh, training uh, and use the guinea radio to learn some concepts, uh, very important. Uh, other other uh, topic in the training of these uh, engineers is they learn about the microwaves. So we are using uh, tools, uh, simulation tools like uh, ADS from Kisai company. Uh, but the, the idea is to develop some, some concepts and some uh, realistic uh, uh, solutions in the, in the lab. Here, uh, the students uh, working with the filters and develop uh, different measurements using uh, radio signal generators. Uh, in the, the problem with these experiments for develop a, a class with uh, a lot of uh, students is that the, uh, the cost of each uh, device. So uh, we develop a strategy to uh, obtain a flat uh, response in the power uh, in the uh, USRP SBX. Um, using a Python code, it's possible to uh, obtain a flat response. Uh, otherwise, the, when you increase the power, you decrease the, excuse me, you increase the frequency, decrease the power. So in this, uh, in this measurements, it's possible to see that the stand, standard deviation between the SBX uh, cards and the uh, signal generator from Rodan Schwartz company is very near. So it works and it's possible to obtain the frequency response uh, of the, this device using this technique. Uh, other experience is outdoor uh, experiments. So we use uh, military towers to deploy experiments in, in the campus. So the students uh, put the antenna in the top of the tower and find the radiation patterns and uh, contrast these uh, results uh, with the simulations parameters. Uh, other example is to use the SDR you say using the Open, B, open BTS project to learn about the mobile communications. We are using um, software from Sysqual, it's a company from Rod Schwartz. Uh, this uh, device are used by different companies and mobile companies in Colombia and around the world to measure the different parameters of the mobile communications. Uh, here we, it's possible to see uh, uh, experiment in uh, measuring the power in a short uh, in a short distance uh, measurement and comparing the open BTS and the uh, measurements obtained with the cellular phone. Here is other experiment experiment with different phones and um, measurement the times of the calls and understanding all the protocols, uh, the GS, GS, GSM uh, uh, technology. Uh, other uh, option, other example is to use the Guinea Radio Radar Toolbox uh, developed by Stefan Wunsch. Uh, we, we use this, uh, we, uh, these toolbox to develop some different experiments in the campus uh, to understand the radar laboratory tests. So here we have experiments of the range uh, uh, measurements, estimation, and uh, it, works, it works perfectly. Uh, it's possible to understand uh, advanced concepts using a cheap, uh, low-cost tool. Uh, professional tools like this uh, is very expensive, uh, 10 or more, more uh, uh, than the cost uh, the USRP and the antennas. The other uh, experiment is to use, uh, our focus is uh, use the roof of the tallest buildings in our campus 
to deploy uh, some user piece and uh, combined with portable mo uh, nodes, uh, develop some experiments uh, in our campus. Uh, these uh, devices are mixing with IoT or other nodes uh, placed in around the river, Bogota River, is very near of the university. Uh, so in, in this experience it's very useful. They, they use the software film radio technologies and Guinea radio uh, programming. Uh, this, uh, in this uh, strategy we are uh, developing some international cooperation. Colombia have a cooperation agreement between the Germany and Colombia uh, and it's possible e e for us to develop some projects together. Uh, we uh, developed a Gini Radio workshop uh, three years ago uh, with collaboration that a colleague in Aachen University, Johannes Smith. Uh, e and now is, uh, we follow this cooperation uh, with excellent results. Uh, this, uh, this uh, strategy is for uh, try to uh, understand the other, the other visions of the academic, but we need to uh, are close at the component of the government. Colombia uh, present the hour uh, to the Colombian government with the high gets distinction for the uh, management of the electromagnetic spectrum. Is uh, the Spectrum Agency in Colombia uh, have the mission to planning, allocation, monitoring, and control the radio spectrum. And in, in this strategy is oriented to uh, the next years we have uh, uh, some goals to assign some portions, uh, portions of the spectrum. Uh, we have uh, information uh, courtesy of ANIF to uh, knows the following steps in these uh, politics in Colombia. Uh, uh, in Colombia, we have seen uh, radiography with uh, the spectrum signal the last years uh, with uh, important blocks uh, of this spectrum. So the uh, agency wants to profundize uh, and, and develop some projects uh, with universities and different uh, point of view. So in this way, uh, Colombia develops uh, each year uh, the International Spectrum Congress. In this spectrum, uh, it's evaluated the politics around the world, uh, and the, uh, the Spectrum Agency develops, uh, de develops a strategy to uh, spread the knowledge uh, to everybody. We have some experience with the students, with the military forces, with the uh, lawyers to try to uh, explain what is the importance of this uh, spectrum. Uh, the uh, research with the academy is, uh, is a focus, is a strategy of the uh, spectrum agency. So last year uh, the spectrum agency funding uh, three projects. We won uh, the Anne Spectrum Challenge to develop a, a platform to develop some experiments. Uh, we inspired with Orbit Lab and the Cortis Lab uh, with uh, like models to uh, develop our system. Uh, we visit uh, the Orbit Lab uh, infrastructure. We work uh, during a week uh, with Ivan and the team uh, to understand the Orbit Lab inf infrastructure uh, we develop a, a training in other uh, hardware, the Pico SDR from NUTAC, and uh, understand the uh, rules and the analytics, uh, analysis of the last experience in the development of this uh, spectr uh, spectrum challenge in USA. So with this uh, experience, we come back to Colombia and develop our own system. Uh, with the W lab uh, is uh, possible to find in this uh, URL. Uh, it's a combination in the innovation development and wireless research. 
we develop a similar uh, concept that the Orbit Lab uh, is, pos is possible to uh, use the hardware uh, using the platform and we uh, develop on a similar interface but use uh, uh, integrate a control to uh, turn on and turn off the hardware. Uh, we developed some software in Python to control uh, the remote instruments like a uh, vector signal generator and uh, the valid validation use, uh, this, uh, is the same uh, concept to assure the security of the system. Here we have a resume uh, with a, a short view of the infrastructure that we have. And the idea with this uh, project uh, the, and the interest for the Spectrum Agency is to develop some uh, scenarios, analysis of scenarios, uh, the Spectrum in Colombia. So the Spectrum Agency uh, uh, say, could we test coexistence between LTE and DBB2 and 700 megahertz band? Sure, why not? Uh, so we develop uh, some different uh, method methodology uh, to analyze different scenarios for coexistence. Uh, using the PQSDR, it's possible to change the bandwidth of the LTE and using other hardware to uh, uh, obtain the DBB2 uh, signal uh, in the commercial channels uh, in Colombia. So uh, we use this, uh, this system, this hardware, the LT node using, using the PQSDR and Amarisoft uh, firmware. Uh, um, a device to receive, like a USRP and, uh, and, and read to spectrum analyzer, the antennas and, and TV uh, explorer from Promax company. Uh, so we test different uh, the, the, the X scenario and uh, move the uh, signals and obtain an uh, increase on the uh, packet errors and measuring this uh, effect in LTE using the SysQual phone and uh, use the uh, TV analyzer to uh, analyze the coexistence scenario. We repeat the same test for 10 megahertz, 20 megahertz and obtain some uh, uh, different results. It's an example of partial results of these uh, measurements. So the next, uh, the ANE uh, uh, said, uh, could we develop more tests? We have a lot of ideas to develop and use this uh, system, uh, but um, I don't know. But uh, next, after a uh, year come, uh, I'm sure that we can do it. Uh, so the next step for the, for the next year is uh, develop the version, the Spectrum Challenge in Colombia. Uh, we are trying to develop these uh, different experiments and design the, the proposal to invite uh, uh, universities, high schools, and ham radio clubs, because the idea to Annie is to spread the knowledge of the Spectrum in, in these areas in, in Colombia. Uh, we are beginners, but we want to to play with the spectrum and develop some experience and advance with colleagues, uh, the other universities, to, to understand the, the goals and, and develop some collaborations uh, between the researchers in Colombia. In our agenda, we have uh, a, the idea to develop a basic training in finishing this year and develop the Spectrum Challenge uh, uh, the next year. Uh, is everything. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, <coughs> with these examples, uh, examples uh, we summarize that uh, Geni Radio is an opportunity for the development of communication academia around the world. It's my email and the Twitter link. I, I need to, to do the acknowledgement to the people involved in these uh, projects and this experience. So, thank you very much. All right.
like we have plenty of time for questions. And <coughs> go for it. Don't be shy. Okay. okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question while you guys think about more questions. You had that little Venn diagram at the end. Um, there was one group missing, which is sort of we would probably call it the hacker community. I don't know how like how strong that is in in Colombia. Um, is that is that the hacking that community? Yeah. Mm. Is that a group of people? <laughs> but, you know, people like us who are. Who yes, but it's problematic because the hacking is. Uh, the okay, let's call them the maker community, the enthusiast community. Yes, uh, enthusiastic community. But, but uh, we have a problem with the with the different missing understanding with the concept of the hacker, because uh, we have uh, recent news uh, about the uh, politics uh, intervention using the hacking, the emails of the politics, and some uh, some uh, things that li like that. So the uh, in the university, specifically in our uh, research team, we develop a uh, cyber security, but the academic concept, but the the interaction with the military forces is complicated be because of these reasons. Okay, so okay. Samantha has a question. So I saw that high school was one of the these things. What are your ideas for working with high school students and, and getting them involved in, in this kind of um, Okay, excellent thing. question. The ANI is, is uh, the ANI is a government part, but it's a technical part of the telecommunication ministry. Uh, in Colombia, we have an increase in, te in technologies, but decrease the numbers of students in junior careers. So it's the uh, same in around the world. So the strategy of the government is to develop some programs uh, involving uh, high school students. So the idea to Anya is to develop uh, this experience like a game and develop the interest of the students for studying the, these, uh, these careers. Okay. So the next speaker could start setting up. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I could not find you. But we have time for more questions. If So I've more. got a question. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So on the, the way you had the students doing the uh, um, discovering the antenna patterns of the different antennas, could you elaborate on how that was done? This is my mic. Okay. Okay. The, uh, the experience about the pattern uh, with the antennas in the campus. Do you, how, okay. did you, how did they do that? Could okay, uh, using the low power signal in in the uh, in the antenna and uh, using uh, more or less uh, ten med meters over the uh, over the tower, it's possible in all campus obtain the radiation pattern uh, moving around the antennas and measurement using a USRP and a computer. So we, uh, the, the students uh, 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 developed some practices and uh, uh, developed some measurements and simulations using tools like Serio, it's an online uh, tool to obtain the radiation pattern and change the antenna and uh, develop different measurements. It's a very interesting uh, test for compare the uh, uh, theoretical approximation and the real uh, approximation. Okay. Okay, let's thank our speaker once again.